Welcome to Trans Euro Trail Italy, the northern part. So this is the first real test for the rally raid suspension that I just made a video about. Maybe a one or two videos ago not sure when this is gonna come out first time I'm off-roading with the rally raid suspension outside of Finland and outside of the Finnish winter so now I'm, I have the stock tires on and um, let's see how they go Woo, the back end is really slippery actually not not much grip there so I would assume this front is the same oh it's getting really really nice but I'm not sure if I'm in the right place I am probably not but let's go anyway oh it is rocky Woo! <laughs> the front is uh, I should probably be running at a little bit lower PSI but okay wow these tracks are really interesting Woo! <laughs> really nice but uh, the GPS has no idea where I am now Ooh. Oh, big rocks Lost right from the start Hello next maybe there Ooh. oh this is a dead route Ooh. oh yes oh, that's a steep one big rock Commit here too. It's downhill. Wow, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> and that's the first like three kilometers of this track, so <laughs> it promises well that the Italian Tet is definitely not made for big bikes. <laughs> Of course you can't do it with the big bike, but still this is a really proper enduro. Oh. <laughs> Don't even need the engine. Oh, oh yes, fantastic. Thank you, Italy! Oh, GPS is already lost.
Woo! <laughs> oh. Okay, where to? Where to next? That's a steep one. I know it doesn't look like it in the camera, but that's like a 50 meter drop and really, really steep incline, decline, I mean. I don't want to be here with the stock tires, but I'm just gonna have to take it easy. Because I know the stock tires will not stop me, so I will not take a crazy amount of speed here. They're struggling for grip. We're down. We are down. I have to get some better tires on this trip at some point. The rear is not as bad as I thought. It did get some grip from the incline. So yeah, I didn't tell you yet, but uh, about two or three days ago, I took a pretty nasty spill on tarmac because of the new tires and there was some oil on the track. So the road was slippery, even trying it with your feet so I had no chance luckily nothing was broken but my knee is really painful and it's a it's a mess right now I almost didn't come here today because of the knee I just wanted to come here because uh, I'm going crazy in the van doing nothing <laughs> now we're testing the rally right oh yeah it's uh, so nice it's just uh, the, makes the bike so much more predictable. Of course, I'm not. Shit! Oh shit! Something went into my helmet, and it's it's pissed. Did it come out already? Did it? I guess it came out. Wow! That was a pissed of something. I don't know what it was. Oh! But I heard just bzz, 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 buzzing sounds. <laughs> but yeah, the rally rate makes the suspension really predictable. You can do much more speed. But uh, I'm not doing anything crazy here because the track is so unfamiliar for me. And the mapping is so bad. This thing has no idea what I'm doing and where I'm going. <laughs> it's so much fun driving the Honda here with the Tenere. It would have been a challenge already. <laughs> Woo! The tracks here are fantastic. Awesome. This is what Ted should be always. It's not super creepy. Can't really compare them to anything though because I haven't had any other summer tires on this bike, so kind of difficult to say if they're what they are, but. Uh, I am sliding in the front a little bit more than I would like. The rear is kind of fine because uh, I like to slide on the rear. Wow. Wow, I already was here. What the? What happened? I came back. How can that be possible? <laughs> How is this possible? Oh, I took a wrong turn somewhere. Oh, that's bad. But okay, we're gonna go to other other direction then. 
that's fine too I guess wow <laughs> oh, that was a navigation error like no other wow what is this no idea it's not marked on the map would be interesting to read what these are because this is some kind of a historical monument I would guess uh, Ted Linesman in Italy please mark these spots because uh, someone like me would like to read what they are wow that's deadly but so far the stock tires are really I don't I kind of don't like them because they seem super slippery uh, before I opened up the camera I almost dropped the bike because it just lost it on the gravel I would much rather have some better tires here but fine we'll make do but if you take it easy these stock tires are okay you just have to not do anything super super crazy I'm so used to riding in Finland during winter so I get so hot here even though it's not maybe it's 14 okay it's 17 so no wonder I'm sweating just looking if I can get this chin piece off from the helmet this is this just sucks you can't breathe with these in <sighs> got the ABS on <laughs> makes it makes it fun I'm supposed to go left to get back to the tent oh <laughs> today seems to be all about collecting all the insects in my helmet. It's like Pokemon, but in real life. Okay, now we're back on the track and on this beautiful bridge. Okay, it wasn't that beautiful, but it's fun to fly the drone. I'm just learning to do it, so I'm not that good at it. Plus, I noticed that I got a little lucky there and lucky there. There are some <laughs> power lines there that I should have noticed, but I didn't. But I didn't hit them, and the next time I'm gonna be more careful. A bit of a lunch break, and then we'll continue. Hello. It's weird. Uh, I kind of noticed that I have uh, this kind of stage fright 
after the fall a few days ago I, I still can't ride normally I feel very hesitant I don't have any confidence going in anything I just constantly think that I'm gonna fall every second and hurt myself maybe that's a good thing to have but then again if you're too hesitant off-roading could be very dangerous because sometimes you just have to commit to some of the lines that you take that view <laughs> it's uh, astonishing it's so beautiful it's almost scary I'm gonna head back I still have uh, 37 kilometers to go home well home to my van so this was the episode for today so bye